A day of song and hope, but concern too, outside the hospital treating Nelson Mandela. Hundreds of people gathered in this street as rumours spread online that the former president had already passed away. But this morning, one of his granddaughters emerged from the building with words of reassurance. He is stable. He's in a stable condition. Well, we are we quite anxious, but then we thank everybody for their support. This is the last time we saw Nelson Mandela in April with President Zuma. Today, the president said Mr. Mandela was still critical, but was now stable. And one of his daughters spoke of the family's hope. You know, when we talk to him, he will flutter trying to open his eyes, then he'll open his eyes. Um, when you touch him, he still responds. And I think for us, as his progeny, as long as Tata is still responding, when we talk to him, when we touch him, I think that gives us hope. You are for those in the street waiting for news, it is a mixture of hope and resignation. We are here to really pledge for his life that we still need him. God must uh, grant him mercy. I think it's time for us to let him go. I think now he suffered a lot. If he will die, we will all accept that. But it will be a very pain. It will be a very painful moment to, to these people. It's very difficult to describe the atmosphere here. It's part carnival, part vigil. People just don't want to leave. They want to be involved in whatever is going to happen here over the coming hours and days. Speaking in Senegal on a tour which will bring him to South Africa, President Obama had these words. I think he's a hero for the world. And um, if and when uh, he passes from this place, uh, one thing I think we'll all know is that his legacy is one that will linger on throughout the ages. 10, 10, 11. Outside the hospital, they counted to 95, the age Mr. Mandela will reach next month. And then in the hope he will see that birthday despite his condition, they released 95 balloons into the sky.